Hello, friends. Now let's solve the delete nodes and return forest problem. Given the root of a binary tree, each node in the tree has a distinct value. After deleting all nodes with a value in to delete, we are left with a forest, a disjoint union of trees. Return the roots of the trees in the remaining forest. You may return the result in any order. So let's see this example. Our tree is like, like it at first, and we need to delete the three and the five. So um, when we delete these three, we have left these six and the seven two trees, and originally the one, two, four tree. So we return these three trees. So how to think about this problem? We need to delete a node in the tree. What does that mean? We need to delete the node, obviously. But we also need to delete the edge between that node with its parent node and its children node. That means we need to delete this edge, this edge, and this edge. So do we need to actually record every node's its parent node? No, obviously not. But how to, um, well, let's think that if we need to delete this three, we can easily delete this edge, just let its left equal to null, its right equal to null. But how to delete that edge? Well, actually we do not need. Why? Um, let's see. We can just, uh, when we delete this two edge, we just uh, let this six and seven into our result list. And when we are uh, processing these two nodes, if they need to be deleted, we just uh, remove that node from our result list. So in some degree, it's just like uh, delete the node with its parent node. Okay. So to be specific, our solution is just uh, traverse the whole tree. And uh, if current node uh, needed to be deleted, then we remove that from our result list. If that if it uh, do not need to be deleted, uh, we will see it's left child and right child. In this case, if its right child need to be deleted, we let its right equal to null. So we change the structure of the tree. Then we keep uh, traverse this tree. Then we handle this three. We find that uh, itself need to be removed. So we uh, remove that from the result node. But actually, it doesn't exist. Okay, then. As it needed to be deleted, uh, its two children will be added into the result list. Uh, list. Because when we remove the, uh, these two edges, six and seven will be two separate trees. So we need to first add them into the result tree. Uh, you know, you have uh, four choices to traverse the tree, pre-order, in-order, post-order, and uh, do the level traverse. I will do the level traverse because I think it's very uh, simple. We will just use a queue. So okay, let's write the code. We will use a result list. Because we need to delete node, so use link list will be fast. Okay, then we need a queue. We I use stack, you can also use queue. This will be Q and the new array deck. We will first offer the root into the queue. And we also need a, uh, we also need a what? Okay, uh, this is just an array, but we need to quickly know if some value exists in the to delete array. The easy way is to we convert that into a set. So we use a set. It will be new hash set. The for every uh, 
value need to delete. We add uh, this D. Okay. We also need to add the current root into our result list because it uh, can only have two cases. One is it needed to be delete. Then we will remove afterwards. If it not needed to be delete, we already added that. All we need to do just modify the structure. That is what we do to the level traverse. So why the queue is not empty? We get the current node that will be queue pull. Okay, if the set contains the current value, if it self needed to be removed, as they said, I need to remove this three. We will add its two children into our result list. Okay, so we first remove the curve, and if curve left not equal to none, the result will add this curve left. If curve right not equal to none, we add it to our result. Okay, then. If curve left not equal to none, we need, uh, no matter it is, if it needed to be deleted, we should uh, add it into the queue, of uh, queue. But if the set contains curve left dot value, it's like uh, the two needed to be removed. We need to uh, remove that edge, right? So we just let cur left equal to null. Okay, the same to the right. If null equal to null, Q of uh, cur right. If uh, set uh, contains cur right dot val, cur right equal to null. So finally, we just return this result. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.